Hello and welcome to Coding Demos. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how we can strike through a text view. So what I mean by strike through, here, let me give you an example. You can see here, I have, a, I have an image and there is the first price tag and you can see there is some sort of a, of a line that goes through that price tag. That is what is called a strike through. And that's what we're going to learn in today's tutorial. So by the end of this tutorial, we're going to have an app that looks like this. I have this text view and I have this button. And when I click on the strike through button, you can see the there's a cross line that goes through this text view and that's what's called strike through. If I want to remove this strike through, I click on the button again and it is removed. All right, let's open up Android Studio and let's start coding. The first thing we need to do is open up the resource layout and double click on the activity underscore main.xml file what we're going to do here is we need to add two views we need to add a text view and we need to add a button okay the second thing we need to do is we need to change the text size for the first text view so android text size and uh, let's pass this 30 SP. Okay. The second thing we do is change this text view to the text that we see in the emulator. Hey, we want to strike through this text. So let's do that. We want, we want to strike through this text. Okay. And here we have the button. So we change the button to strike through. S strike through okay we're done editing the activity underscore main xml file now let's head over to the java file and let's reference these views let's close this close this and close the layout close the resource folder and open up the java open up the main package and double click on the main activity right here now let's reference these two text views sorry these two views so we have the text view and we call this text and we have the button and we call it button okay inside the on create here we're going to reference these views so text equals to find view by id order id and we have the text view we do the same thing for the button order id and we have the button great now what we want to do is once the user taps on the strike through button we need to strike through that text view and to do that we set button dot set on collect listener okay now inside the on click listener is where we're going to strike through the text and to do that we say text dot set paint flags that's the first option and then this same this paint flags basically is the one that is one of the flags that we will use or basically this is this is the method that we need to pass a flag that we that will help us strike through that text and to access these flags first we need to get the current flag of the text of the text view and we do the we do it like this so it's text dot get paint flags first we get the the paint flags the current paint flags and then after we get the current paint flags we add this you can say it's a uh, or right and then we need to pass in the the other flag which is the strike through flag and to access these flags we will do paint that's the one and then dot you can see the strike through text flag that's the option you select that so text dot set paint flags and we get the current paint flags of the text view and then we have we use this paint which is this strike through text flag let's run the app and let's see how it looks like in the emulator click on the wrong button 
I have my emulator here running. Choose the one, choose the one that you have, and click OK. OK, the app is running. Now let's click on the strike through button, and you can see the the strike through is happening on this text view. But if you click on it on the same button again, the strike through won't be removed. And let's work on that. So inside the onclick method here, we need to get we need first to know the current flag whether it is strike through or not and then act upon it so for example if the current text is already strike through then let's remove this the the strike through flag otherwise we set the strike through flag so what i mean is inside the unclick we need to check first so we do if the text dot get paint flags dot sorry get paint get paint dot is okay that's the one is strike through is strike through text so we need to check if this text is th is strike through text and we take this line and we add it inside but first make sure that you use this explanation mark because we're saying if this text is not strike through text then apply the strike through flag on this text that's why we use the explanation mark now if the text is already has the the, the strike through flag and we need to remove that and we do that inside the else condition here we do text dot set paint flags. We get the the current paint flags. Get okay, paint flags, and then we use the, the and percent, and we need to use another uh, thing that's called unary operator. Okay, and we will pass the same flag. Paint dot strike through text strike through text flag. So, text dot set paint flags. We get the current paint flags, and then we we'll use the ampersand. And here's the unary operator, which is here we need to strike through the text. But when we use this unary operator, it's like the opposite of the operation. So instead of adding the strike through, we need to remove the strike through. So we use this unary operation, and we have the paint dot strike through text flag. Okay, let's run the app and see it, the, the new changes. Okay, so I have the app running here. Let's click on the strike through button. And it, we can see the strike through is being applied to this text view. Let's click on the button again. And the strike through has been removed from the text view. Click on it. There is a strike through. You click on the same button again. And there is no strike through anymore. That's basically it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Do give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel for more awesome tutorials. And if you need any help with the code, do email me and I'll do my best to help you out. Thanks again for watching and happy coding.